Now, Ericsson is a Swedish telecom company that in 2009 and 2010 was in trouble with Hillary Clinton's State Department because Ericsson was selling a lot of telecom equipment to Iran, to Belarus, and to other oppressive governments about which the State Department was concerned. Ericsson risked being put on a list by the federal government in the United States for trading with an enemy state. There was actually an effort being put forward in Washington to broaden Iranian sanctions to include the very technologies that Ericsson was selling to the Iranian government. So it's against this background that Ericsson decided now might be a good time to hire Bill Clinton to give a speech. They had never paid for a speech by him before, and they decided to go in big, $750,000 for a single speech. Seven days after he gave that speech, Hillary's State Department came out with a statement which said, we are not going to broaden sanctions on Iran to include technologies like telecom. We're going to rely and expect companies like Ericsson to police themselves. It was a massive win for Ericsson. Ericsson was able to avoid having to deal with a regulatory battle in Washington, giving up contracts that were highly lucrative in these countries, and being put on a list that would create an enormous diplomatic problem for them, all because essentially they paid Bill Clinton to give a speech for $750,000. Will you continue to give speeches? Oh, yeah. I, I got to pay our bills.